Hi and welcome to whattabletpc.com overview of the Asus EEE Pad Transformer Prime uh, with Ice Cream Sandwich. That's Android 4.0 just been upgraded to this tablet PC. I'm just going to show you what the kind of uh, changes are that this has made in this video. Um, first up, really the uh, interface is just a bit cleaner. The actual uh, there's some changes to the kind of font uh, that's being used. It looks generally just a bit more polished than what we had previously. Uh, some of the application uh, icons have changed slightly. Uh, certainly things like uh, within uh, apps like the gallery look a lot cleaner rather than the kind of stacked cards that were there previously. It's a much more kind of simple uh, user interface to kind of interact with. Um, and that's the general picture across most of this update. It doesn't uh, look like there's a major change to the kind of functionality, but it's just that things are just a bit quicker, a bit zippier, and um, and also it's just uh, some nice finishing touches really added. And I think so most of it's kind of more about performance and, uh, and getting around. So you can see the BBC website loading very, very quickly there. Um, if I pull back out of the browser you can see as I'm pressing some of the buttons there's just a bit more extra feedback um, that I've actually pressed the button and it's registered. Uh, jumping into the music app for example there's not a huge amount of change again it's just uh, just minor tweaks to uh, to what we've got and what we had previously. Fundamentally there's not much change there. Let's jump into things such as email application uh, just a bit cleaner again it's just looks a bit bit nicer than what we had previously. Um, a few of these applications I've got here are actually Asus applications so I won't go too much into those. Android Market itself hasn't changed massively. Um, let's just have a quick look at say things like the books. The transitions are a bit more kind of um, smooth in and smooth out. Um, let's just have a quick look at what else we've got here. I mean that kind of front page on the uh, Android market kind of belies that we've got a fairly simple um, uh, lineup of what the uh, available applications are and uh, and books etc um, and films behind the scenes. Let's jump out of the Android market um, and see what else we've got on here. So file manager itself, um, not a huge amount of change there really. That's actually an Asus. App anyway, let's jump into our applications. Um, the actual app, um, how you approach widgets, etc., seems to have changed slightly in that you access it from here. And it's a case of a long tap and then you drag the application where you want it or the widget where you want it. Let's just jump into our applications. Let's say we want Angry Birds on the screen, so you just drag it in and drop it. Uh, previously there was a kind of plus sign up here that took you into that kind of widgets uh, type screen um, and generally it just looks like things are just a bit smoother if we jump into the YouTube app not a huge amount of change there at all actually but she none from what I can see quickly and that is about it really there's um, like I say it just seems to be a bit quicker and smoother let's just have a look at um, a quick game on here because this is running a Tegra 3 processor so it's going to be pretty decent graphics and gaming so let's go to what we've we got on here already if I pull up the global game this is a kind of pinballish type uh, game so we'll see what comes up I haven't actually got the um, volume on at the moment so I'm just going to increase that So you can see there's a lot of depth to these games. There's kind of a, um, let's just tweak this slightly. Oops. Lots of nice color and uh, and depth in terms of 3D graphics, etc. So that looks fine. I mean, it runs very smoothly, but um, let's uh, back out of that then. Um, yeah, not much else to say really on, on this uh, upgrade. Uh, just smoother, quicker, seems a bit snappier um, and some of the uh, kind of rough edges have been kind of eased out of things like the gallery app as we noted earlier on. Thanks very much for uh, watching this uh, update from whattabletpc.com. 
Uh, we'll be coming to you with more updates on Android Ice Cream Sandwich and the Asus um, ePad Transformer Prime coming soon.